just a little tour of the garden in mid-May. Um, I'm in the polytunnel and you can see on the left here I have uh, some early potatoes. They've done really well. Um, they are Orla's and um, I put, um, I probably did three rows. I put them a bit closer together this year just to kind of, I thought I might harvest them sooner and I'm not too concerned about the size I suppose so I just put them a little bit closer they're like 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters and what I did then was I just kind of mulched with some straw there and I have irrigation lines down so I kind of water with the through the irrigation lines but I also go through at times and just sprinkle uh, water them with the hose just to kind of keep the ground around them wet as well sometimes with the drip lines it just kind of hits in that one spot so i like to keep all of the the soil to get it wet at times so kind of um, working on two different uh, watering systems and then over here i have the tomatoes so this was qu a quite wide bed so i managed to fit three rows in there i haven't put the string up yet so i was just waiting until the danger of frost had passed and then i'll just tie those up to the top so they're 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters and um, i just need to put down the irrigation line there and again i've just been soaking the ground because the tunnel dries out during the winter time i don't have all the beds in use and just just to get everything going again, put a bit of life back in the soil. I worked in some well-rotted farmyard manure and also some garden compost and I've just been soaking it just to get the ground, um, you know, to get a bit of moisture in there. So a um, mixture of tomatoes um, in there as well. Um, and what else have I got down here? Just a little bit of um, parsley. So this is just for cut. Uh, herb production I suppose I do um, flat and curly leaf so I just put those in and um, they were seeded in seed trays there's four to five to the the bunch there and they just went in last week they're about 25 centimeters apart uh, you could do them closer but I'm not stuck for room in this bed again so I just kind of put four rows across and kind of divvy them up so that's the way that worked out and um, I still have some kale from over winter this was probably put in in july no not july it was seeded in july probably went in around september august september and i've been pulling on it all winter and um, some of them went to seed so i pulled them out and i um it did a little bit of interplanting here until these guys go out so i have some parsley um in there just a few and i'll put the main crop outside and then i have some perpetual spinach and um, just a small section in here as well so again they were multi-sown and uh, they will be ready for harvest soon actually the leaves look are coming on nice i have like two different sowings there so it's that one and then these guys are a little bit bigger and um what else have i got in here that's kind of it for this tunnel i'll um move into the other one 